the State Board of Elections is here at the Emergency Operations Center in Raleigh monitoring all those problems. And the first problem that they had to address was in Wilson County. One of the precincts there is now staying open an extra 30 minutes. The State Board of Elections voted to keep the precinct at the Gardner's Elementary School in Wilson County open an extra 30 minutes. They voted on this after they had some trouble this morning printing some voter forms and some voters weren't able to vote. So now the State Board of Elections says they will keep that one precinct in Wilson County, the Gardner's Elementary School open an extra 30 minutes. Now another problem at the polls happening in Johnson County. Let's take a look at that video. That was where the Johnson County Sheriff's Department was called out to a reported assault on a poll worker at the elevation Methodist Church in Benson. According to authorities, a woman walked in to vote and did not have an ID and a heated argument ensued. After further interviewing the poll worker, there was no physical assault and there will be no charges against the voter. Other than that, you know, I've covered voter problems for every election in the past 20 years here and I'm here to say that so far it's been the quietest. I did hear from two voters who they showed up to vote but had to vote with a provisional ballot due to an issue with an ID for one and another. It was already recorded that they voted, so both of those did vote by a provisional ballot. Other than that, the Board of Elections says things are running smoothly and once the polls close today, each county is responsible for counting their votes. All ballots are counted at the local level. Uh, I do want to, to emphasize that. Um, those precinct officials that have been overseeing the voting sites, they are going to tabulate and sign off on those results tapes, and then they will be the ones who transport them securely back to the county boards of elections. All of that will be transported securely following chain of custody. These are bipartisan officials who have taken oaths to serve in those polling places and to carry out this work. So the state is taking a lot of steps to make sure that your vote is counted and the State Board of Elections says they will continue to be here throughout the night. If any problems occur at the polls, they will investigate it and take action if needed.